saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? You know, when the question is posed, answer is needed. Mm -hmm. Who is worthy? Mm -hmm. And we know as such was made Amen. in heaven, mm -hmm. in earth, Amen. under the earth. Amen. And we understand that none mm -hmm. was found worthy. Mm -hmm. None. You know, when we look at this, we see Jesus, he made everything. Amen. So when you look among the created, mm -hmm. you look among the those that are that that are the creatures in heaven, in earth, under the earth, say none was found worthy. Mm -hmm. And John that heard this angel that's proclaiming this question, asking who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof, when he saw that there was none. He wept. He was troubled. He, he knew that the whole creation was doomed. Amen. None was found worthy. But I thank God, oh, that we have a Savior. Amen. The Lion Amen. of the tribe of Judah Amen. had prevailed. Amen. We have a Savior. Amen. You know, when you're in a situation where it's helpless mm -hmm. and with that is hopeless Amen. Mm -hmm. there's nobody to help mm -hmm. and there's nothing to look forward to mm -hmm. we're stuck mm -hmm. who is the deliverer yes. who will help the situation mm -hmm. I praise God for Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. that's why oh he should not only be the savior but he should be the Lord Amen. of our lives. Amen. Oh, when you behold what God has created, there are some that their duty is to worship him Amen. day and night. Amen. Constantly, Amen. when you look at all that he has done, mm -hmm. they can't help but praise him. Amen. Oh, but look at what he has done for us. Mm -hmm. He's given us free will. Amen. And what are we doing with our time? Yes. We have to stop and acknowledge mm -hmm. who helps us Amen. from day to day. Amen. That we have breath mm -hmm. in our body. Amen. Who helps us? Amen. We are able to stand. Mm -hmm. I tell you, if you're sick, you can be so sick you can't Amen. stand. Amen. To stand, Amen. we give him glory. Amen. To be able to talk, Amen. we give him glory. Amen. To move the muscles in our body, Amen. we give him glory. So I say all, all of that just to touch on what goes on in heaven. When the creatures that are around behold all that has been done, all that God had done, and they can't help it. Mm -hmm. That's their duty. Amen. To praise God. Amen. To honor Him. Amen. Let's look at Revelation 4, 10 and 11. After beholding all that God has done and the, all the honor and glory that is due his name, he said, The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So to the question, to our subject, who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And we see God is worthy. Amen. Jesus Christ is worthy. Amen. But Jesus is the one that stepped forward as a lamb 
and died for the sin of the world. John said, and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. John, as he was weeping, as he was in grief, one of the elders said unto him, Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seas thereof. John had to snap out of that weeping, out of that grief, and he said, I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood the lamb. As he had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. A couple of things I want to highlight here. <coughs> the lion and the lamb. The lion representing a ruler mm -hmm. present. Mm -hmm. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you have a lamb, a sacrifice that was needed to pay the death of sin. You see, those two in one person Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Imagine what would have happened if we didn't have a savior. Mm. If we didn't, we needed help and there was none. We praise God for being our helper. So what the Lord has done, it cannot be quantified. He has done something so great. He has done something so great for humanity, for God's kingdom, for God's purpose. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb having every one of them herbs and golden vials full of others, which are the prayers of the saints. Oh, it shows you that, oh, God, it, what, he, he is God. It's, it's, it's almost like, you see it this way, everything that needs to be done is already in him. Amen. Oh, that would actually, it, it can actually mess somebody's mind. Amen. Everything that need to be has already been in him. Amen. There's nothing new under the song. Amen. And the song, a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain, and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. So you see, there's no tongue, there's no nation, there's no people that's left out. Yes. Think about it now. Yeah. We are still going to tell people. Mm -hmm. But God has already seen the end Amen. from the beginning. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. We need to go tell people mm -hmm. about Jesus. Yeah. But in God's view, he knows all that, would, all that need to be done from A to Z. Amen. So by faith, we just need to fulfill that which Amen. he said will happen. Amen. And he says, oh, for the redeemed, for the redeemed, he had made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign in the earth. Moving further, 11 to 13, he said, and I beheld, and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne 
and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. He said, They're saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne unto the Lamb forever and ever. We see the wonderful glorification the joy that was there for what Jesus had done. The lamb, the lion of the tribe of Judah, because they understood what was at stake. Mm -hmm. They understood the implication Amen. of what Jesus had done. Amen. Oh, when you understand what Jesus had done, mm -hmm. you can't help but praise him. Amen. Because now it's personal. Oh, but these angels and all that was created, oh, that understood what Jesus had done and what, what he did represented for humanity, they couldn't help but give him the honor and glory that was due. And the 14th verse, it says, And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Again, we have the answer. Oh, when we see this subject, he said, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof. We can, without doubt, oh, with a resounding voice, say Jesus. Amen. The lion of the tribe of Judah the Lamb of God has prevailed. Amen. 